Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Yadi. If you are new, please consider subscribing. In today's video, we are going to be going over a cosmetology practice written test number six. Use the following 20 questions and answers as study material to help you prepare for your state board written exam. Be sure to read your textbook for more information on each subject. If you find the information helpful, don't forget to share, like, and again, please consider subscribing. Now let's get started. Number one, of the following descriptions, which is the lightest hair color level? A, level three. B, level seven. C, level 10. D, level one. The answer is C, level 10. Number two, if the hair is more resistant to color, the hair professional may need to A, shampoo the hair, B, check for elasticity, C, refuse the service, D, pre-soften or pre-lighten the hair. Answer D, pre-soften or pre-lighten the hair. Number three, fine hair, which is generally less resistant, may appear to process in what manner when color is deposited? A, darker, B, lighter, C, warmer, D, never color fine hair. The answer is A, darker. Number four, demi-permanent colors are not designed to A, deposit color, B, lift existing natural hair color, C, add tone, D, last four to six weeks. The answer is B, Lift existing natural hair color. Number five, high lift tents are designed to achieve a lighter color and are generally mixed with A, 70 or 80 volume hydrogen peroxide, B, 30 or 40 volume hydrogen peroxide, C, 50 or 60 volume hydrogen peroxide, D, 10 or 20 volume hydrogen peroxide. The answer is B, 30 or 40 volume hydrogen peroxide. Number six, what determines the size and shape of the new wave or curl pattern? A, hair color. B, perm rod. C, Neutralizing solution. D. Perm solution. The answer is B. Perm rod. Number seven. The alkalinity of cold waves causes the hair fibers to soften and A. Shrink. B. Become brittle. C. Swell. D become acidic. The answer is C, swell. Number eight, perming resistant hair may require heat and A, A, shorter processing time, B, longer neutralizing time, C, longer processing time, D, pre-lightening. The answer is C, longer processing time. Number nine, sodium hydroxide relaxers are also known as A, lye relaxers, B, base chemical relaxers, C, no lye relaxers, D, 
Thio relaxers? The answer is A. Lie relaxers. Number 10. On the human body, the thicker skin is located on the A. Abdomen B. Thighs C. Palms and soles D. Under eye The answer is C. Palms and soles Number 11. Sudoriferous glands, sebaceous glands, sensory nerve endings, the erector pili muscle, a major portion of each hair follicle are found in the A. Stratum corneum B. Epidermis C. Stratum spinosum D. Reticular The answer is D. Reticular. Number 12. The subcutaneous layer of the skin is made up of mostly A. Muscle B. Melanin C. Adipose D. Keratin The answer is C. Adipose Number 13. In what direction are eyebrows, hairs, tweezed? A. Always downward. B. In the direction of the hair growth. C. Opposite direction of the hair growth. D. Away from yourself. The answer is B. In the direction of the hair growth. Number 14. How do you test the temperature of wax prior to applying it to your client? A. On the tender skin inside of your elbow. B. On your own face. C. With an oven thermometer. D. On the inside of your wrist. The answer is D. On the inside of your wrist. Number 15. The location of the cuticle is described as A. Tissue inside the nail matrix B. Overlapping tissue around the nail C. Tissue attached to the nail root D. Tissue under the nail bed The answer is B. Overlapping tissue around the nail. Number 16. What is the living tissue that overlies the nail plate on the side of the nail? A. Nail wall. B. Lanula. C. Perionychium. D. Cuticle. The answer is C. Perionychium. Number 17. The living tissue under the free edge of the nail is the A. Hyponychium. B. Nail root. C. Lanula. D. Eponychium. The answer is A. Hyponychium. Number 18. Onychia is an inflammation of the A. Cuticle. B. Nail wall. C. Hyponychium. D. Nail matrix. The answer is D. Nail matrix. Number 19. Onychorhexis is a term indicating the nail condition called A. Bruised nails B. Bitten nails C. Split or brittle nails D. Pigmentation problems The answer is C. Split or brittle nails 
Number 20. A dehydrant is used to help remove moisture and oil and to prevent the growth of A. Bacteria B. Matrix cells C. Wavy ridges D. Viruses The answer is A. Bacteria all right, you guys, so that concludes today's video. Let me know in the comments down below. If you made it this far, please leave me a little book emoji in the comments. Now, you guys, don't forget to reread the chapters in your textbook. That will always help you go over all of this information much thoroughly. As always, don't forget to keep going, keep growing, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.